Hello and welcome to another expanded information video here on RotaxOwner.com. In this video, we'll look at Service Bulletin SB912064 and SB914045, which cover the periodic inspection of the crankshaft journal on certain serial number specific Rotax 912 and 914 series aircraft engines. In isolated cases, some crankshafts may develop cracks in the journal on the power takeoff side, which could lead to breakage of the crankshaft itself. As a precaution, Rotax has introduced a mandatory periodic inspection of the crankshaft journal for certain serial number ranges. To check if your engine is affected by this service bulletin, refer to section 1.1 of the bulletin for a list of engine serial numbers affected. Serial numbers for certified and non-certified engines are listed separately. Be sure to check the corresponding bulletin for your engine type. Serial numbers for certified engines are listed in Service Bulletin SB912064 914-045. Serial numbers for non-certified engines are listed in Service Bulletin SB 912-064-UL, 914-045-UL. The term UL refers to non-certified engines. Also listed in Section 1.1 of the bulletins, are individual crankshaft serial numbers. These crankshaft serial numbers should be checked on engines that have been recently overhauled or have had a replacement crankshaft installed. If your engine or crankshaft serial number is not listed in Section 1.1, then your engine is not affected by this service bulletin. If your crankshaft serial number or engine serial number is affected, you must perform the check described in this service bulletin at the next mandatory maintenance event and no later than the next 100-hour inspection. You must repeat this check every 12 months or 100 hours of running time, whichever comes first up to 1,000 hours of total time since new. Also, as a secondary note in the service bulletin, if a sudden drop in oil pressure is observed and the drop in oil pressure is more than 0.5 bar, 7.3 PSI, but still within operating limits, this check should be conducted as soon as possible. This sudden drop in oil pressure could be a symptom of a broken crankshaft journal. In order to perform this check, you will need the special check gauge CS-PTO tool, Rotax part number 876260. Contact your Rotax service provider for price and availability of this tool. Here is the test procedure. First, remove the magnetic plug. Press the check gauge guide pin all the way into the magnetic plug hole. Keeping the flat spot in the direction of the propeller parallel to the gearbox housing contact surfaces. The slot in the tool should run vertically from the top edge down towards the center of the tool. The check gauge feeler gauge is symmetrical, so you may insert either end. One end may have a small hole to help with grip. Hold the tool firmly in a fixed position, not allowing any rotation. Insert the feeler gauge into the guide pin until you notice the first resistance as the feeler gauge makes contact with the cylindrical crankshaft journal. 
Use just a little more force and continue to push the feeler gauge about two millimeters further in until it touches the plain surface of the pinion gear. Apply more force, taking care that the guide pin has not rotated and remains firmly in position. At this point, the mark on the feeler gauge should still be visible outside of the slot. This indicates that the crankshaft is OK. If the feeler gauge can be pushed further in so that the mark disappears in the slot, then the gearbox must be removed and the crankshaft journal checked for cracks. Contact your local Rotax service provider for additional assistance. The test is completed. Remove the feeler gauge and guide pin. Install the magnetic plug. Check the oil level and top it up as required. Proper oil check procedures can be found in your engine manual and also by viewing the expanded instruction video Oil Level Check on rotaxowner.com. With the test completed, you can now enter this service bulletin as complied with into your engine logbook. You will find links below this video to download a copy of this service bulletin, as well as links to download all manuals for reference. You can contact your nearest service center, repair center, or IRMT technician for further information and parts availability. You can find a list of service centers and repair centers on our website using the top menu. Clicking on Support Bulletins, then on Find Service. If you have any comments on this video, email us at videos at rotaxowner.com.